Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of um, One Plus The One. Of course, my name is Aya Thompson and it's really yeah. wonderful to be able to speak or to converse with you. I feel like I'm having a conversation with you. <clears throat> I hope my voice is really loud. I, for some reason, it's been off and on. So please pray for my voice. <laughs> right, so um, today I want to do something a little bit different. First of all, happy new month to everyone. Thank you so much to every single person who read, who commented, who one way or the other interacted via um, either Facebook, Twitter, the blog page itself. You know, just want to say I'm really grateful. God bless you. I need to pace myself. <clears throat> So, it's a new month, it's the second month in the year 2015, and I like to consider February as the month of love. <laughs> For obvious reasons, it's Valentine's Day on the 14th of February, 12 days I think, yeah, 12 days from today, and of course, one plus one is all about love. Love God, love me, and love you. Okay, so it's, re it's a really, big, really, really big month. For us and we hope that you're already planning big for this month we pray that God will make it a love filled one for you we pray that God will surprise you in ways that you can you could never imagine or you'd never thought about that God will increase you enlarge you establish you grant you your heart desires as you delight yourself in him now today I want to use this opportunity for two minutes just to talk about something that I've been blogging for so long in my mind. Do you get that? Like you think of something and I'm thinking I've formed everything in my head, how the intro is going to start, how the body will be, what I'll be the point I was driving home to, and finally the end. And I never get to get there. Well, not I never get to, but life becomes so busy and the thoughts of just sitting down and blogging yes i do get time and i'm thinking no i don't want to even look at the blog i just want to leave you know sleep anyways it's a very serious topic and particularly because we talk a lot about waiting and loving it on the blog and when we do waiting and loving it it's beautiful to see couples you know newly married couples people who waited by the grace of god and it's just really amazing and one of the things, I want to take just one word out of that sentence, waiting and loving it, which is the waiting part. Now, I'm not talking about waiting in terms of being sexually, to sexually abstain, you know, or to be celibate, but in terms of waiting for the promise. Waiting, you know, in the face of other people, it seems like every other person is getting engaged, getting married, and you're almost that little or lone person standing on the shelf and it is not an easy thing at all when I was younger I used to be really really particular honestly if this was my plan was by now I ought to have finished giving birth to all my children do you understand married a long time ago children in tow and you know facing the ministry you know getting to the permanent site but as God would have it it hasn't been that way and when I was younger I used to be really concerned he should have met me when I was, you know, and it was something that someone said to me that struck a nerve with me and I would never forget. And I'd just like to share it with you this, you know, today. She said that because, you know, if you're going on a train journey, when the, when the train is moving, it would stop. I would use London to Swansea because that's a route I'm very, very familiar with. So I would use, from, let's say, Cardiff to Swansea. So from Cardiff, you have Cardiff, Bridgend, Port Talbot. Nice and then Swansea. Sorry, we don't understand this analogy. Just assume, just you can call it whatever stop you like. So we'd have Cardiff, Bridget and all that. And she said, I know I'm going from Cardiff to Swansea, right? But between Cardiff and Swansea, there are about three or four stops. Now, if you're going on the journey with somebody and someone gets off at, maybe we leave Cardiff, next stop is Bridget, you think, and then the person gets off at Bridget and you're threatening, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, is that my stop? Oh my goodness. Does that sound crazy to you. Does that sound alright? No, it doesn't. It doesn't sound normal. In the same vein, because I know my destination is Swansea. Whether people, when we get to Bridgen, I'm not fretting. When we get to Port Talbot, I'm not fretting. When it gets to Nice, I'm not worried because I know where I'm going to. I know there is a destination. I know that there is an end to this journey. In that same vein, when it comes to 
marriage, I'll use marriage as an example, it could apply to any other facet of life as well. When you, when people around you get to bridge end, and by God's grace, that's where God has ordained for them to get married and move on. We just start getting worried that, oh my goodness, I will not get married. Oh my goodness, your time is, your Swansea has not come yet. You know where you're going to. And where Swansea is, where that's where home is. That's where your family is waiting for you. So you're not concerned. It doesn't matter how many people get off, even if you're the only one left on the train. As long as the train is moving, you know that you're going somewhere. In the same vein, I want you to see yourself as, as long as God holds you, in his hands. It doesn't matter how many people seem to be getting off the train, getting off the train, getting off the train. Don't look at that. In fact, bid them farewell with a smile because you're going somewhere. Your destination, don't stop before you get to your destination because if you do, you need to buy a new ticket. You need to probably cross over and it's going to be so stressful. Don't rush into a decision. Everyone in life has different paths to follow. My prayer for you is that you will not miss it in Jesus' name. You will not be anxious for anything. Rather, you will trust God that he has the best for you. And that as long as you are in God's hands, in God's will, there is a Swansea for you. There's a destination for you and you will not miss it in Jesus' name. No need to fret. Trust God. No matter how late you might, you may seem to think it is, as long as time is in God's hands. You are sorted. It will never be late for you. You will get there at the right time, in the right way, for the right purpose, and God's name will be glorified. All right, that's all I wanted to say. I hope it makes some sense one way or the other. If it doesn't, then um, listen to the next video post. My name is Aya Thompson, and it's been wonderful sharing with you on One Plus the One.